Hi everyone, Menachem Brody here with you once again from Human Vortex Training, your certified and experienced USA Cycling expert level coach and strength and conditioning coach here today to talk about why you should not hang out in your kits for too long after your rides. So we're here fresh after a Thursday morning ride. Uh, it was a really tough team ride, really tough. It was one of those workouts where you go to your eyes are crossed. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, can I please have a butter croissant, nothing on the side, and one of your house coffees with a little bit of steamed milk? Thank you. We all like to go to the cafe and hang out when we're done. But did you know that hanging out in your kit for too long afterward can actually lead to some very, not very nice things that uh, are unspeakable of sorts, that a lot of riders suffer, they may not make the connection, and we usually don't talk about it too much. Oh, that was fast. Thank you. Appreciate it. But before we get any further, I need to change out of these things, and I think I have a croissant to eat. So let's change out. That's better. If only it worked like that in real life. Snap your fingers, something's tough. Coffee time, fantastic. So why do we want to get out of our bibs or our chamois as quickly as possible after our rides? Does that mean we shouldn't sit for coffee with the team or the guys or the girls? Not at all. A uh, half hour of, of coffee isn't gonna kill you, but if you're gonna sit around longer than that, we really want to try and get out of our, our bibs as quickly as possible. Why? With bibs, we usually wear uh, with chamois cream, <clears throat> and also it's a dark, damp, and warm area, which bacteria loves. This brings us to why you need to get out of your chamois. Uh, saddle sores. This is not a popular topic, it's kind of embarrassing actually, but any rider who's had a saddle sore can tell you they are extremely painful and they can actually be very serious. Uh, essentially, <clears throat> saddle sores are just pimples in your nether regions and what this leads to, it's, it's an infection of a hair follicle or a, 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 a hair follicle or a pore in your skin gets infected. But because you're sitting on the bike, you can push that infection out, and that can lead to what one or two riders that I've known and that I haven't coached have had to have, and that's surgical intervention to actually have a doctor go in and cut it open with a scalpel and drain it. It is not comfortable, guys, because then they have to stitch it back up. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and that's what we're talking about here. So how do you how do you do this? What's the best way if you're out of race and you're a two-hour drive from home, or you go to a group ride and it's a 25-minute drive from home, what do you do? simple solution is baby wipes. I learned this from one of the best riders I've ever met. Uh, he's ridden, raced internationally for the last 25 years. He's in his 50s at this point, I believe, and he's still putting hurt on guys in their 20s. So fantastic racer. And we were driving to a race, and on the way there, he had baby wipes in the car. I said, what are these for? He said, oh, that's for the team to clean up after. I was like, oh, for our face? That's fantastic. That's a great idea. He's like, you can use it for your face as well, but uh, it's so you don't get saddle sores, because after, and he explained everything I just explained to you guys. This is a simple trick. So you do not want to be one of those triathletes or riders uh, or runners also who sit in the car on the way home wearing your bib or wearing uh, tight-fitting clothing. You want to try and wash the area with a baby wipe, one or two of them. I always carry a couple uh, plastic bags in the car so I can put the dirty baby wipes in and throw them out if there's no trash there. Um, really important to do this because it helps you prevent having saddle sores and they are extremely dangerous if you get them, meaning that if you don't treat them right away and you're diligent about keeping them clean, they can get to the point where you'll need that surgical intervention and we don't want to have that infection. Uh, in order to become the best cyclist triathlete runner that we want, we have to be consistent in our training. That's the number one thing. Uh, the other thing is when you get home, you want to clean with a very good uh, soap. This is Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1. This is the green tea variation. I really like the tea tree oil and the peppermint oil uh, based one or the peppermint one because those two oils actually have uh, antibacterial properties in them. So I know you're thinking oils in a soap. What the heck? Uh, they're essential oils. Uh, the soap is fantastic by the way. It's the size of a nickel in the palm of your hand on a washcloth, you can wash your whole body. So this costs you about double what Dove or Old Spice will, maybe triple, but it will last you four times as long. This bottle will last me about four months of um, four to five rides a week and regular bathing as well. So great soap. But you want to use that to clean up the area once you get home. As soon as you walk in the door, the first thing you do is upload your ride data from your Leomo, from your Garmin, from your Yahoo, or Wahoo rather. It's really important for you guys to get out of your kit as quickly as possible. Ride time is chamois time, non-ride time is not chamois time. So get out. If you're away from home for a race or a long ride, you have a long drive home, prepare ahead. Pack baby wipes, loose fitting underwear like boxer briefs, 
or boxers rather, not boxer briefs, uh, and also a pair of uh, basketball shorts in the summer and a pair of loose fitting uh, pants in the winter. So really important, as soon as you're done with your ride, ride time is shaming time when you're done, clean up as quickly as possible to avoid saddle sores. You do not want to have that experience. They are not comfortable. So until next time, remember train smarter, not harder. And remember, it is all about you.